Today guys, we finally catch up with the Mandela catalog. Today we are going over act two of the series. If you didn't see the act one video, I will be leaving the link to that video in the description down below. Make sure to watch that one before this one, or make sure you've seen at least act one of the Mandela catalog, because this is going to be so confusing to you if you haven't. Also, as always, huge, huge, huge shout out to Alex Kister, the creator of the Mandela catalog. Link to his channel will be in the description as well. And all right, guys, I don't want to talk too much because this is going to be a long video as it is, but let's hop right in. Video 9 Interlude uh, Warning for sensitive topics uh, such as suicide, self-harm, uh, violence, and all that stuff. You know, there's not a lot of good things going on in the Mandela County of this series, so just a warning. There we go. There's the audio. Warning volume could get loud at any time, by the way. Warning to headphone users. All right, so we at the police department. Population trend report from 1990 to 2010. All right, so definitely declining rapidly, Jesus. In only three years, it went from 14,000 to 5,000. That's crazy. I wonder why. <laughs> God damn. Okay. And then 2006, it was down to 1,000 and went down to 1,075. Nobody wants to be here, understandably. By Thorn Paranormal Society Productions. Hey Adam, I got access to more of those MCPD files and they're pretty recent too. I don't have time to watch them since I'm busy, but let me know what you think. See you soon. Sarah. An unforeseen threat has been eliminated thanks to your loyalty, courage, and determination. We may now carry onwards without fear. I'm confused who Sarah is too. In the beginning, Flawed assimilation. Okay. So this is documenting the alternates. Then complete assimilation. Wow. Okay. So the alternates as time goes on are getting better at copying people, I guess. That's kind of insane. That was a really, really similar. If you put these two in front of me, I would not be able to tell you which one's the alternate. If you're just joining now, don't worry. We're still just getting started. Overdriven assimilation. How do you, huh? Wait, <laughs> how do you go from, all right, we're flawed. We're trying to look like them to looking like them. Mission accomplished. And then you end up just going off the deep end here. This is also the thing that we saw in uh, volume two that spoke to Adam. There is a name for this one. I forget what it's called. If chat could let me know. The Preacher? Is it The Preacher? I believe it's The Preacher. A messenger. 
All right. <laughs> so that was just an interlude, so I can't expect too much out of that. Uh, so basically, we learned that Mandela's population is rapidly declining. Um, looks like we're going back up to the 2010 eras of time. Uh, I know we jumped back to like 92 at one point, and then now it looks like we're jumping back to like 09, 2010. Because uh, winter break of 09 was when volume 2 took, took place, and that's when everything happened to Adam and Jonah. I have no idea who Sarah is. Unless I'm completely missing that and they already told us who Sarah is. This next one, chat, is going to be something, man. 40 minute analog horror video is crazy. Absolutely crazy. It's actually divided up into sections. So the first section is 10 minutes long called In the Beginning. Video 10, Volume 4. In the beginning, the earth was created without form as a spirit hovered over the face of the waters. Light was created first, then the light was divided by darkness. The light would be called day, and the darkness would be called night. Okay. On the second day, the spirit created the skies above and the water below. A great firmament was created to divide the waters. Okay. The evening to the morning was the second day. The water below was separated from dry land, where a diverse arrangement of plants were grown. The mass of water would be called the sea. The land would be called Earth. Hey, yo, y'all see that? Hold up. Hold on, I gotta... I think that's my boy Gabriel right there, creeping in the background. ...would be called Earth. Why'd he kill that tree, though? A grand array of stars and planets filled the emptiness of the night sky. The sun and moon were created to give life to day and night. Several creatures were created to inhabit the sea, sky, and land. The creatures would multiply, and soon the earth was filled with these creatures. Let's go. On the sixth day, a man was created from the dust of the ground followed by a woman to keep him company. They loved each other very much, and happiness was felt for the first time. They would gaze up at the stars that night before falling into a deep, graceful slumber. Okay. Awaken, my son. Waking up Adam. No, <laughs> why are you creeping behind the tree like that, Gabriel? Come on, man. The apple. This night was different than the last. The woman would gaze up at the sky, but the brilliance and beauty of the stars were obscured by the man, staring down at her. The woman was afraid. I'd be afraid too. Not only has this old technology been easier to use, for me and my family feel a lot safer with it now. Damn, so that was just the intro? Uh, Dave is the guy that I believe fixed Thatcher's tape so that he could watch it. Mandela Tech. How may I help you? Hey Dave, it's O'Brien. Oh! How's it going, man? It's been a while. No, oh, you know. Same old, same old. Yeah, I feel you. How'd that church kid go? Oh, it was great. Got the whole congregation out of their seats during the last performance. Felt empowering, you know? According to the other band members, that's never happened before. Made me feel real special. That's great, dude. Mandela Tech. Yeah, man. Enough about me, though. How have you been holding up? I don't know. Uh, you know how it is. Oh Is my it? god. Moving people. This is crazy. <laughs> have you seen the news? Local businesses haven't really been doing so hot recently. Ah, that's rough, man. I I'm sorry to hear that. I don't know. That's alright. I'll find a way around it sooner or later, right? Tell you what. If you end up having to shut down, I can vouch for you to get a position here. They'll pay you much better than whatever the hell you're making down there. I'm not a man of God, O'Brien. 
Dave, some old procedure. Drop off when you're done, Thatcher. Same old procedure. Hey, no worries. You don't need to be a believer. You can always let me know if you change your mind. Well, I, I gotta get running. Got rehearsal today. I'll talk to you soon, alright? Who is that and why is she hiding the tape like that? This is so different from the usual. Property of Dave, hands off. Video intended only for Mr. Lee. The only CRT TV. Ah, so, so this is this is what my next question was going to be. Is this tying back to the whole ban on all technology kind of thing, or everything with screens? Uh, I guess that's got to be true because this is the only CRT TV in Wisconsin. Is is that not still a risk though? Even having one TV. I guess we're about to find out. Toddler stress assessment video. Oh no. Don't watch that. This is stature, correct? Yes, it is stature. Wednesday at 6 p.m. at the St. John Library. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to bring your paintbrushes. Thank you very much, Lola. Our next student comes from our very own Bythorn High. Please welcome Sarah. Sarah. Hello. I'm Sarah, Sarah Heathcliff, Heathcliff, founder of the Paranormal Club at Bythorn High School. I look to do some private investigations and help some people out from the surrounding areas. I'm currently looking for a work partner to pursue this line of work with. Don't worry about having any experience or anything. I'm also a beginner. You can contact me with the email shown on screen now. I look forward to hearing back from someone. Thanks for listening. I think that email works. Like if you emailed something, it replies. Sarah Heathcliff, currently at large. Okay. <laughs> what happened after that? Hey, Sarah. I saw your video. I'd like to join you with your investigation stuff, since I think that sounds pretty cool. I go to Workshaw High School, but I hope that's not too much of an issue. Also, I grew up in Mandela, so I have some ideas of places that we can explore. Up to you, though. Hope to Okay, so this is taking place before Volume 2 now, but after Volume 1. So Sarah was the one that, that started the Bythorn Paranormal Society, and then Adam joins. And then it looks like Jonah joins at some point. Again, though, funny that he says, oh, I was actually originally from Mandela. Do you back from you. It's so cool how the characters are tying together. Adam Murray, currently at large. Special announcement, everybody. Please welcome Adam, the newest ad. Okay, so Adam gets into the Bythorn Paranormal Society. Hello, everybody. Me and my friend Adam are excited to announce that we have recently founded the Bythorn Paranormal Society. Yup, you heard that right. We are now expanding into surrounding areas. And we don't mind traveling a little bit if we need to. There is nothing that will scare us away. Just give us a call. Okay. Breaking and entering event one. Wow, I'm loving this backstory. I was not expecting. Fine, I promise. Imagine the reactions from this. 
this will be great. And I know the perfect spot. There's no way this place was abandoned, Adam. Shh. Okay. Ready to get your mind blown? Uh... Look down that hallway, Sarah. Look at it, and don't look away. Okay, all set. Now press play. What the fuck is this? Shh, shh, shh. Just watch. Look, Sarah, look at it. What are you doing? No, Adam, please. It's right there, Sarah, look. What's going on? Don't you want to see? I can't look, please. It's literally looking at us, Sarah. What the fuck did I just watch? <laughs> what was that? Why were there so many hands? All right, you guys, you guys are asking me to call the number, which I was tempted to before. Someone told me last stream that any number with five 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 in it isn't real, but I'll call it anyway. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Yep. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Please check the number and dial again. Sorry, guys, it's fake. I'd love for it to be real though. Okay, so they flee. No worry. Got it on video. You can look at it whenever you're ready. You, you got just... a crazy good shot, Sarah. No, I'm not doing that ever again. Hey, you just traumatized her. You're kidding. I just need time, all right? If you're gonna keep doing these with someone, then you need someone else. I'll do everything else, I guess. How did he know about that place to begin with? Two years later. The call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Okay, so we're at January 13th, 09. Is that before or after Volume 2? January 12th. Oh, so this is the day after. Okay, this is the day after Volume 2. Hey, Sarah. It's Adam. I'm on the way back. We got some pretty good material that I think you'll be pretty psyched about. So, uh, yeah, see you soon. Um, Evelyn, okay. So now, I was actually thinking, I was like, are we gonna get an Eve to this Adam? Okay, uh, can we talk this through, please? Sarah Heathcliff, mm hmm. Jonah Marshall, you gotta try 25 milligrams next time, bro. Tyler Johnson, what does FS2 even stand for? Amanda, fuck you, you'll get what's coming. All right. This has to be from Adam's phone, email, whatever. So is Jonah dead? We know Adam's alive now. Can I at least have some closure, Adam? Gotta go to work. Please respond while I'm gone. Damn, can you answer Evelyn, bro? Sarah, I'm not bailing you out when the cops find you. They won't. They're all barking no bite. Mm-hmm. Just got home. Did you hear voicemail? Now, why does he look so creepy in his profile picture? <laughs> no, I've been busy. How did the visit go? Do you want good or bad news first? Great, there's bad news. Jonah bailed, and I don't know what happened. Mm. 
and I'm pretty sure he's dead or something. That's a big or. <laughs> yeah, Sarah's like, bro, what? Okay, wait. Let me say the good news. Bro, how good could the news be? <laughs> Absolutely not. Call me now. Adam? Eventually, someone will stumble across that. You just drove off? Didn't really think it would be that big of a deal. What? Put yourself in my shoes for a second. I just got done walking for miles in the cold, all right? Would you expect me not to take the car? What the hell has gotten into you? Adam. Got some killer footage, though. I don't get... Wait, so... Jonah bailed with the car and then he walked and eventually found the car because that's because Jonah got out of the car at the end of the second volume Okay, interesting That makes sense why the GPS was on the car For the shit about the footage until you sort yourself out Crazy how I feel more sympathy towards someone I hardly knew than you He was your best friend. No, he wasn't my best friend. I was his best friend I don't have friends. We have to tell our viewers, you know. We? I think you mean you. You're the one that handles the online stuff. No, you. This is all your fault, Adam. We didn't need this footage. I don't care how good it is. Why don't you make a memorial video for the only person that ever cared about you? The viewers will start suspecting things sooner or later. I thought you were better than that. Damn, hung up on her. <laughs> nah, Adam's actually a dick. <laughs> like, that's crazy. <laughs> no, nah, that was... God, Jesus. No wonder Evelyn left you is crazy. Damn, Sarah just chewed you out, bro. Holy crap. Mandela County population trend report. All right, so we're back looking at the population. Wait, I do want to talk about that for a second. Adam is literally like, uh, what's the what's the term I'm looking for? He lacks like empathy. Like, bro, your best friend is missing what like like he you found the car on the side of the road your best friend's nowhere to be found and you're just like oh i don't care like but look at this footage that we got like bro what 17 years and counting thatcher fear dwelling in the bottom of my stomach eats away at me like a cancer Where'd the captions go the bellowing of broken parents cries of sisters asking where their brothers went all drowned out by the humming of fluorescent lights and now back to depressing mandela catalog missing person supports stacked on top of each other like a mountain of grief Hardly damn thinks if i let a match and tossed it their souls would find their final resting place you see all those missing person reports weaver my guardian angel in a sense, I threw her to the flames in an act of self-preservation. Her photo plastered in the lobby, almost like a reminder of what I did. At the same time, I feel anger. I feel vengeful. I feel pain. Why does it say in remembrance and show him and Thank her? Proud Ruth. But the darkness followed me home, Weaver. I left. I couldn't cut it. I shut myself in. But something else was there with me. If nobody's there to call you crazy, would you ever find out?
Hey, yo, Thatcher, put a shirt on, bro. Thank you, Lily, for the five. I appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Hello? Just gonna have to take my word for it. What was that about? Was that an alternate just in his room? No, 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 no. I'm not firing you. Uh, you remember our last good day? Yeah, me either. Dave, please. Is there anything else I can do? I, I'll gladly do longer shifts. You don't even have to pay me anything extra. This is all I have. Please? Look, I have a good friend that used to work at the police station. I'll put in a good word for you, alright? I appreciate your loyalty so much, Evelyn. It's been a good run. Bye-bye. Dave, wait. What's with the closet? The old TV? Why do you stop- So Evelyn was the girl from earlier that watched the tape. And Dave was firing her, I guess? Remembrance. And this is Lieutenant Dasher Davis. Seems like I made a mistake. Everything's clear here at the station. Calling off all the units. Over. This is more for my peace of mind. I miss you a lot, man. <laughs> I like to think that you're watching me somehow, making fun of me while I write you this fucking letter. But I'm always greeted by that same invasive silence. I keep driving by the house like, uh, I'm gonna get over it somehow, you know? But it hasn't gotten easier. There's a lot of movies and music that you missed i wish i could show it to you just one more time because the reality is ruth i don't think i'm gonna find another friend like you can <laughs> and every day it hurts it hurts so bad <laughs> and now you're dead because i was too fucking scared I was too fucking scared. I'm so I, sorry. I don't think that was your fault, bro. I think it was just you unfortunate what happened. Either. You really did.
That's Thatcher talking right now. Ah, uh, why is Thatcher on the remembrance poster with his partner? I don't understand that. All right, now we're in Sarah's perspective. Are you almost done with the video? I'm surprised he's even doing it after what you said. Sure. Okay. This is stupid. Uploading this makes it more dramatic than it needs to be. Don't care. Your fault. Your PR this time. Whatever. No, oh, he actually did the video. <clears throat> Draft one. A celebration of life. Come on, bro. <laughs> like, are you serious? <laughs> I would also be like, what the fuck? <laughs> huh? I'm not in the mood for joking. Get this done. Adam's just trolling at this point. There's no way. I sent the wrong file. Chill out. Jeez. Okay, that makes that makes more sense. Why are you acting like this? Oh. I like that the video's black now. Draft two. It is Special heavy hearts that we announce the passing of Jonah Marshall, a recent member of the Bythorn Paranormal Society. Jonah was beloved by many of our viewers, and for good reason. He brought a positive energy to an otherwise serious organization. We couldn't be more saddened by the passing of such a pure soul. Jonah passed away peacefully, surrounded by his loved ones. <laughs> It's footage from the house in volume two. Jonah Marshall, March 7th, 1988 to January 13th, 09. He was always the nicest guy up until he started the investigations of Jonah. I, I never believed in that kind of stuff. He always came across as a skeptic, sort of just more surprised than anything. There was always something going on with him, but he just never told me. We got into a big fight over it, and he just told me some awful, terrible things that I just wish he had never told me. I never said that. It's messing with my words. I don't know what's going on. It's not me. It's a computer, I swear. I'm not stupid. I never all right. said that. The computer, I swear. I'm with my words. I'm not stupid, alright? I don't know what you're doing. I'm messing with my words. I never said that. Shut the fuck up! I never said that. Messing with my words. I've had enough of you! Messing with my words. I never said that. Please! Get the fuck out of my ass! Please! Get the fuck Click off the video, Sarah. Click off the video. Yeah, click off. That's enough. That's that is more than enough, bro. Who 
correspondence. Okay. Did Adam do that on purpose? Or is it or is the thing actually messing with his computer now? First of all, he definitely did the beginning part on purpose, right? This section. This is crazy. Yeah, um, Jonah Marshall is dead. R.I.P. But don't forget to rate five stars and subscribe. Like, that is so crazy. <laughs> totally not okay. Totally not okay. Correspondence. Welcome to Face Studio 2. The hell is this? Check the manual for more detailed instructions. Trademark Mandela Tech 2000. Welcome to Face Studio 2, a revolutionary software that can make your face say anything you want at the touch of a button. All we need from you is your personal details and three photos of your face, demonstrated on screen now. Once we have your photos, we will be able to save your facial profile to our database. We will never share your data. Once the upload is complete, you can type in anything that you want your face of choice to say. A new feature with Face Studio 2 is the ability to customize your face even further. Several faces can be saved onto Face Studio 2. Creating magical fun for everyone. It's truly a wonder that digital technology has come and saved us all. Make sure to spread the word to your family and friends about the new and improved Face Studio 2, available for free on most personal computers. Do your part in creating a better reality. Why are we using this? Society of followers of the truth say a mess of tangled limbs danced around my bedroom. I held my breath and waited for it to stop. I was too scared to only made it my only face of food. What did I just watch? This looks like Evelyn. It's like they're throwing it in my face. Hello? Thatcher's not dead, right? Mr. Davis, are you here? It's crazy how empty the police station is, though. Just nobody left to help with anything. Here's my boy Thatcher. Yeah. Uh, hey, Thatcher. Um, I got some news for you. What? You know, I mean, I just think it's time that I move on. Okay. Move on with what? Why are you being so cryptic? I just think, I just think that I finally found peace. This isn't what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. So, so we're done. Just like that. <laughs> no, look, man. I don't think you fucking get it. I don't know how to do any, any of the shit you do for me. How much of that was really worth it, though? If you would have just given up already, maybe you could find peace as well.
Think about how much time you've wasted trying to solve these cases. You need to learn how to accept things that you can't change. From 17 years ago, might I add. Dave Trippin, for real. Find a new meaning in life, Davis. Thank you, Evolucius. Appreciate it. Malignance. So, Dave is basically telling Thatcher, yo, I'm not gonna fix up those videotapes for you anymore. Like, I'm done. And then he's also telling him, maybe you should give up too, and then you'll be at peace. But I don't think... Definitely not. Like, you're just gonna let this go on of people continuing to go missing. I feel like Thatcher's definitely in it for the long run. All right, this is the last section. Okay, Eve is just waiting here. Again, assuming this is Eve. Curiosity killed the cat. Right? That's a saying or something. Hey, I just got here. Uh, could you unlock the front door, perhaps? Yo, you're at the front? Uh, yep. I'm at the front of the building. Perfect. We'll be right there. Stay still. What is going on, dude? What is going on? face looks so much more distorted than last time we saw him. I'm gonna be so real with you right now, chat. I have no idea what any of that part meant. At all. Okay, back at the police station. His parents' divorce agreement.
Uh, toddler stress assessment review. Psychiatrist Dr. Jack Williamson, September fourteenth, ninety two. The day. So this took place right when the whole um, Mark Heathcliff situation happened. Dear Lynn and Jude, your son Adam did not react to any audio or visual stimulation during the assessment. This may be a result of A, lack of basic intellectual capabilities compared to other children his age, or B, the results of the recent phenomenon occurring with children his age. If you wish to discuss further, please make a follow-up appointment. We can sort something out. Your son Adam did not react to any. Davis? I have a feeling it's definitely not Mr. Davis. Is that an alternate of her? Alright, back from Adam's perspective. Uh, did you edit that all in? Hello, unknown. We've been trying to contact Adam Murray. Is this you? Please confirm yes or no. Maybe spam. Damn, they are spamming him. Oh, shit. It's the intruder. On Adam, who are you talking to? You need to call me back now. I don't know what's going on. Please don't make me have to worry about you. Please call me back. Please. Dude. Oh, man. All right, obviously you guys said it in chat a bajillion times, but so Adam's an alternate. I mean, he even, the intruder says to him directly, um, you are not the real you. So at one point he was taken by the intruder and then replaced with an alternate version. And that's the Adam that we know. And maybe he like assimilated too much into society and he wasn't supposed to. And that's why they keep trying to make contact with him. Because the whole thing happened at the cat lady's house. And now the intruder is contacting him directly being like, yo, do you, do you remember me? Uh, I don't think Thatcher's dead. I still don't understand the whole why he's on the remembrance poster. But um, we still have one more video left. Yeah, so they're stealing kids to replace them with alternates. But then what's... 
Like, what is the goal in that? Video 11. Catalyst. Captions. Oh, we only have... Alright. There's only auto-generated captions. I'm going to turn them off. Right now, we are following the breaking news at the St. Gabriel Church, where the owner of a local electronics retailer was found dead in the parking lot. News source Aaron is live at the scene, gathering the latest details. He just finished speaking to an investigator. Talking about so Dave being right. dead? We are at the St. Gabriel Church, right on the border of Mandela and Workshire County, where a nearby homeowner reported hearing screaming from an adult male. Which that's that looks like the same church that um Mark Heathcliff recorded footage at like way back We like saw like little clips that he was in front of a church. It looks like it's the same church. Oh st. Gabriel Church 12 a.m. This morning <laughs> right now the scene is closed to the public But this is the most traffic that Mandela has gotten in a while following last night's events We're Oh no Wait, who is using a TV? No more running away. We do not have anyone in custody at the moment, but once we get that information, we will Why is it censored? Uh, this is Evelyn, right? Yeah. Okay, just making sure I got the right contact. Hey, Evelyn, I know it's been a little while, but have you talked to Adam recently? No, he hasn't responded to me in weeks. So it's been weeks since the last video. Did something happen to him? No, everything's all right. Was just curious. Sarah, you can tell me. I was already concerned. He's fine, Evelyn. Why are we lying? Don't lie. Let's just be real. Has he been acting weird around you too? Adam? What are you doing? He said, Evelyn, come here. I mean, what is that? Not who. Bythorn Hospital leaked camera audio. Dave Lee. You mean the rundown? Dead upon arrival and both guys missing. Estimated death was at around midnight. Were the eyes recovered? No, didn't get any word about that. He got his eyes taken out? Oh, Jesus. What? Come here. Look. Oh, my God. Yeah. Brain's not supposed to do that. Do what? What'd the brain do? I forgot that place even existed. Well, yeah. Nothing really worth talking about. It felt kind of weird, actually, seeing people there. Especially the press. This was on the news? I guess so. 
the last time I heard them mention was when they were all migrating to, um, what was it, workshop? Don't ask me. Is that Gabriel just on a roof? Wake up, Thatcher. Can you hear me? I am your intuition. Do you hear the scream? Go and see. County tonight. Looks like the storms are pulling back and the sun is making its way back in tomorrow. In other news, looks like the canceled truck. Hear me? The BPS truck? By Thorn Paranormal Society. Oh, we're close to the end here. The Fate of the Jester, Chapter One. As the boy lay there dormant, all of his humanity drained into a murky puddle. Milky eyes cut through the thick blackness of the bedroom. A spectator. He was no longer the hero of the story. Just a cog in the machine. Is that Adam? I'm going to be honest, I don't really know what to say for this one. There's a lot going on in this series. So much, so many characters, and they all intertwine in different ways. And there's a lot of things that are kind of left up to your own interpretation as to what happened to them. There are a few things I want to go over, though. And again, commenters, I know I got some Mandela experts in the comments, so please check me if I'm wrong, or if you got a way to prove me wrong, please do so. I'd love to hear and talk with you guys in the comments. The whole Thatcher in Remembrance thing is still so confusing to me. I was reading a couple theories online where people are saying that after Thatcher encountered that alternate in volume three, Thatcher basically went into hiding for like years and he's been hiding out ever since then, still trying to just cope with his partner dying and just trying to still fight the fight against the alternates, but from like, not from the police perspective. And because of this, Maybe the alternate that Thatcher ran into, we know that it copied his look. It seems that that alternate may have taken his place in the police station. Why I think this makes sense is in this volume, we got to see a little of the interaction they had. And you even hear the alternate Thatcher call off the call that Thatcher did in volume three. It's Lieutenant Thatcher Davis. Seems like I made a mistake. Everything's clear here at the station. Calling off all the units. Over. And this would also make sense with the thing that Sarah found from the police department in Interlude, where it kind of says an unforeseen threat has been eliminated. Thanks to you guys. Thank you. An unforeseen threat has been eliminated thanks to your loyalty, courage, and determination. 
we may now carry onwards without fear. Which honestly is kind of confusing because we know that the unforeseen threat, the alternates and all that has definitely not been eliminated. But if an alternate is in charge of the police station right now, it would definitely make sense for them to put something out like this. That would also explain why when Evelyn went to the police department, it was completely empty. And it does seem like she runs into an alternate there, which could be the same alternate that Thatcher had previously ran into. Another thing that's confusing to me is the alternate in Thatcher's closet that it's kind of just there and didn't really kill him or anything. <laughs> we kind of just see that he interacts with it and then he's fine after. And then now for the big thing, which is Adam. Adam is probably one of the most interesting characters in this series. He gets captured by the intruder as a child, eventually somehow comes back to being in the public. Not sure how yet. We have no idea anything about that. Adam is completely unaware of any of that happening to him. And it seems that it's heavily implied in volume four that Adam, you are an alternate. I mean, the intruder even says your skin isn't your own. When you stare into the mirror, you see the same monsters from your bedroom, don't you? Your skin is not your own. You're not the real you. Which is why I think at the end of Catalyst, we see Adam looking in the mirror at the end, attempting to understand or come to terms with the fact that he is an alternate and he's not human. And this thing that everybody has been against and afraid of, he is that. But I think Adam's character is still insanely important for this series. I feel like he is human at heart. And I think this could be a problem for Gabriel and his whole mission. So I'm interested to see what goes on with that because i believe that gabriel sent thatcher to adam for a reason that's basically all the thoughts i have on this but if you guys have anything to say in the comments please do i do read your comments all the time and i will try to reply to as many as i can because this story is super complicated and i feel like there's a lot of situations that are left up to your own interpretation of how you think they went down but again big shout out to alex kister incredible series seriously i love it and they honestly get better and better over time. Like, I can't be like, oh, volume one or volume two is my favorite anymore. Volume four is my favorite now. Just the amount of information, the way it's all displayed and given to us. Ah, it's amazing. Also, if you guys are new here, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like on it. Maybe we could get this video to 5,000 likes, maybe. Get it to 5,000 likes if you want me to continue covering the Mandela catalog. Also, big shout out to my members. I love you guys to death. Thank you so, so much for all your support. And all right, guys, I will see you in the next one. Peace.